Hello friends, Archangel with Crypto Angel here. So in my last video covering the coin market cap and coin gecko circulating supply issues with Shiba Inu, I received a few comments and messages regarding the circulating supply number change on the Shiba Inu calculator. So we're going to go ahead and review that now and see why that calculator kind of gained some prominence here recently and also why that circulating supply number has changed. So Shibarium One put out a Medium article a few days ago that covers eloquently the circulating supply changes from CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko with the various excuses and uh, assumed corrections that, they, that they've already fixed it when that issue is still currently going on. However, in the article, they mention a website called shiba-calculator.online. Now it is worth noting that this is not an official calculator. However, this calculator has been created by one of our community members and is extremely useful. So before we move on, I'd like to say thank you to Muno Tubel for creating this site. I hope I butchered that name correctly. And uh, thank you for putting this together. This is a, a very clean looking site with some, some good information and good data on it. So over here, we've got the total tokens and a listing of circulating supply of 549.153 trillion Shiba tokens. So this number is coming from somewhere and I don't think we believe that there's somebody on the other side of the interwebs typing in all of these numbers once they're ready to change. So if we remember from the last video, the CoinGecko number that we had looked at was 549.152 or 153 trillion tokens and the coin market cap number most recently was 549.095 trillion tokens. So even now, those two sites uh, don't report the exact same number of circulating supply and they never have. And if you need to look at that information, please watch the last video on the circulating supply. So before, if we look at the Wayback Machine from October 29th, we had a snapshot of 394.796 trillion tokens. So this number is decidedly being pulled from coin market cap. Now we're going to go into why these numbers have changed. So we're going to right click and click inspect on this particular portion here. And we can see that this data is being generated into a static site from uh, somewhere. So we will click on network to see where this information is coming from. And hovering over that information, we can see we're pulling from an API at coingecko.com. Now, if you're not familiar with an API, an API is an application programming interface, which is a long way of saying, we're gonna go grab the most recent data from another website or another database and display that information on the current website that we're on. As you can see with this continually generating information, it will uh, update that uh, pricing and market cap data on a regular basis. So with that, we'll go ahead and click in here and come down to market data and we can see circulating supply is 549.152 uh, trillion tokens and 733 blah 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 now you'll notice that this number is a little bit different from this number and i don't know how often this number will refresh to this one but this is the data that's being pulled in here on a regular basis for circulating supply so we'll go ahead and jump over to coin gecko and verify that that information is correct and we've got that same number, 549.152733. Now, if you had watched my previous video, this 733 was, I believe, 835. 
So just in the few hours between shooting these two videos, we've burnt roughly a hundred million uh, Shiba tokens. So I think that's very good news that we can see those utility burns through the now payments and through the Shiboshis renaming uh, the those utility burns are working and are being quite effective. So we'll jump over here to this inspection. And again, we're looking at where this data is coming from. Now, unfortunately, I believe the Wayback Machine does not capture the data from the JavaScript that's running. So this number that was generated and placed in the static site that's definitely from coin market cap and i don't know if that came through an api or if that number was hard coded at one point but we can see that the current api is again coming through uh coingecko.com now we'll notice the the date in here for october 29th and so we'll go ahead and jump in here. Let's click this one. Come down here to market data. And so what CoinGecko was reporting as circulating supply on October 29th was 549.152933. So again, that's another 100 million tokens that was that were burned between October 29th and uh, a few hours ago. So I think that's that's pretty good information for showing how fast and how often these burn cycles will go with the utility burns. However, we know this number came from coin coin market cap. Now whether that came through another API or whether that came through somebody hard coding this number into the total tokens, I don't know. However, either API from coin market cap or coin gecko would show roughly this new number here. So the 549.153 trillion or 549.095 trillion. Either one would have shown up here. So this is not somebody just entering this information. This is not a conspiracy from SHIB people trying to hide information. This is data that is being pulled from either coin market cap or coin gecko and being provided to you from those websites. So if coin market cap and coin gecko change their circulating supply numbers, this number will change as well. So please don't think that somebody on the ship team was hiding information or that this is an official information and the, the cat was let out of the bag, so to speak. This is just data being pulled from those sites that supposedly verify the circulating supply. So I hope this information was useful. And if you have any further questions or would like some further detail on this, please let me know in the comments or shoot me a message. And with that, Archangel out.